Our next speaker is, I didn't bring up my card. So dumb. I'm going to get one. Aaron, let's go. Hi, um, I'm Aaron Franco. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, storytelling via video blog. Um, it's something I got into just because I wanted to learn how to edit video. And I found out it's a really pretty fun thing to do. And it lets you connect with people. I'll get to that later, though. Um, first thing, uh, anybody know what a video blog is? Yeah, some people do. Um, it can be like a journal or a diary, some way to uh, record your personal experiences. Uh, double rainbow guy, making a, making a video blog. Um, can also be a way to make your voice heard. Um, last year I didn't like the uh, whole license plate voting fiasco, um, so I made a video blog about it. Big guns. Um, I was more stoic than this kid, but... Um, <laughs> about it. <laughs> the other thing about video blogs you might, might consider them is a way to tell a story. Um, and you would think about all the things you think of when you're writing. Um, so plot, setting, uh, interesting characters, um, the dialogue. Um, but the one underlying common thread that runs through any of these ideas about video blogs is the idea of making connection. Uh, beardless Aaron up here is staring at you. And that's because I was staring at my video camera, my lens. And that is like the portal to someone else's computer and someone else, somewhere across the world. So how do you do it? How do you make a video blog? Maybe you want to try. Um, I can tell you how to attach a camera to your helmet, too, if you want later. Um, <laughs> first thing you're going to need to do is have some equipment. Um, obviously, you'll need to have a camera, a microphone, um, some way to edit it all together. But OK. <laughs> Everybody needs different things. <laughs> so, good news is you probably have all that stuff already. I mean, a smartphone takes video, a laptop has a webcam and a microphone built in, and the software to edit it right there under your, under your fingertips. Um, but don't get concerned about the equipment, at least right at the beginning. The important thing is going to be the story. Um, this was filmed just, I was watching TV, and my cat decided to try to climb into this drawer. And it was, it was amazing, let me tell you, it was riveting. And I was watching the Olympics at the time, so when, when the guy was winning all the swimming stuff. <laughs> but anyways, it turned out to be a super cool video blog, just shot with my point and click camera. So the idea of a story is good, but you're going to need an angle. So. Um, Maybe your story calls for a shroud of mystery. Maybe it calls for a rush of adrenaline. Um, think about the angle and take some time on that, because that's what is going to make your story interesting or not. For example, I wanted to do a story about selling my Wii Fit. Um, it's very popular, but it just wasn't for me. But it wasn't interesting until I switched it around and talked about my Wii Fit, how it felt about being sold. And it was very angry, actually. So. <laughs> Um, when you're in the story process, you might be helped by making some storyboards. Um, this is for a video blog I haven't done yet about growing a beard, called Bearding. So maybe I'll <laughs> do that <laughs> later on. Um, one of the cool things about video blogs is it's like a mini movie. So you get to be the director. You get to be the director of photography. Um, so think about not only your story, but what looks cool, too. Um, and also what can have some meaning visually, a visual metaphor even. Um, in this video blog, I was sort of conflicted about some stuff. And I went outside and I looked up at the sky and it was this cloudy blue mess. And it seemed to represent how I was feeling just perfectly. So um, one thing you probably don't realize about video blogs is that you're going to shoot way more than you need. The sweet spot for a video blog on the internet seems to be about three to four minutes. Um, and I usually shoot 10 times that much and just cull the herd, cull it down. Um, and editing, speaking of editing, it's actually really fun, although it's going to take you a while. So um, grab a mocha, go to the coffee shop if you've got a laptop, and just get down to it with your favorite tunes or whatever. Um, and just like <laughs> modeling, uh, sculpting a marble bust, um, it's just going to take refinement. Watch your final project. Go back and edit it again. Go back and watch it again. Just keep doing that until you're happy with it. 
And then comes time to put it up online somewhere. Um, you can put it on YouTube or Vimeo. There's a lot of options. But this is where your story is able to continue on after you're done editing it because it's the connection you make with people. Um, people will come and comment. Uh, they'll leave likes. They'll do all sorts of cra sometimes crazy things. They send you messages. Um, and it's, it's really a lot of fun. So if you want to do it, I'd love to see your video blogs. So let me know. Um, and that's all I got. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>